April 2016, I, I was admitted to hospital with a very low neutrophil level. Neutrophils are part of the structure of your blood that fights infections. So having a low neutrophil count meant I had very little resistance to infection. In fact, I was told that the situation was life-threatening. I was put into an isolation room and given antibiotics intravenously while the doctors tried to work out what was wrong with me. They thought I might even have Ebola. It took six weeks for them to give me a diagnosis. They said I had Felty syndrome, which is a combination of rheumatoid arthritis and enlarged spleen and neutropenia. I was not discouraged by this news because I had in the past both seen and experienced God's healing power both personally and in the lives of others. At the end of August, I was told by the medical professionals that I would always have this condition and the restricted lifestyle that went with it. As my body was unable to fight infection, I had to avoid any chance of catching an infection. This meant that I could not go to any place where I was at risk, such as church, house groups, restaurants, etc. On September the 11th, the elders here at Emmanuel kindly agreed for me to attend the encounter evening and created a special space for me so that I could, could keep away from any possible infection. At that meeting, I was prayed for by several people. The next day, I had my routine blood tests and things had changed quite dramatically. My neutrophil count had shot up into the positively healthy range and has stayed there ever since. I was no longer vulnerable to viruses and infections, which meant that I could freely mix with people. It was great to be able to come to church again after five and a half months in isolation. The following week, I had an appointment with a haematologist who was surprised to find that my spleen was no longer enlarged. So now I no longer have an enlarged spleen nor neutropenia. Consequently, I would like to give glory to God for a miraculous healing. And I would also like to thank those who prayed faithfully for me and Claire during this time.